Hey guys, Icy New Year, and we're back with more Don't Starve, where we've got our super little Chester, buddy. You're so cute. I love you. And we got this uh, good old-fashioned beaten stick. Oh, we need to collect more flowers. So, wait, didn't he have flowers on him? Yep, we're up to six. Cool. So, um, let's see. Whoa. Do not hold tab. It makes the map spaz out. Learn something new every day. Uh, actually, let's just go ahead and eat that. Get some health back. Um, what can we put in him? Let's put those rocks in him. There we are. And pretty soon, we are going to need to head back home. So, I think to head back home, it was this one no we just walk there <laughs> yeah we just we just walk there um so let's see oh more poo there we go chester is the coolest thing ever i'm ridiculously happy i found him he makes every day worth living quite simply um, no, no, eat it. Eat that garland. Ooh, tastes like garbage. For some reason, I thought he said, mmm, tastes like garbage for a moment there. Okay, so before we head home, I do want to just jump through this uh, hole here. See where it comes out. The new build's coming out later today. And I'm re I'm so excited to try that out. I watched the preview video for it. Oh, it's cool looking. Okay, so we're on a separate little island. Little tiny bits of swamp. Got some graves. What do we got here? Hmm. Oh, sweet. It's a graveyard, so we get some random gold nuggets. I wonder if there's any negative to picking up the random gold nuggets in a graveyard. I have not found one yet. But I feel like with everything, as with everything else in this game, there is some negative hidden somewhere. Oh, gold nugget. Because this definitely beats knocking down all the uh, rocks in the world to find it up gold. Do we have a. Uh... Wasn't sure if Chester had any gold. Let's see. What I'm trying to decide is if I'm happy with where um, I've set up my base, because I, I kind of am not. Really the only resource there. I don't know. I, I'd like to be closer to some pigs, because they really, really help chop down the trees, and they help distract Tree Guard if he pops up. Being with the pigs when Tree Guard popped has saved me several times. So... I don't know. Plus, I've been told that the tree guard drops something I might need. I have no idea what that is, but... I'm num num more so. Uh, you have anything in you I can consolidate? Um, There we go. More sticks. This beaten stick, I like it. I like my beaten stick. Oh, it's a berry bush. So we might continue exploring and then move our base. Or honestly, we don't have that much there. That is a base that I wouldn't feel too terrible abandoning. Oh, no, I don't need that stick. Cool. We are good on firewood for the night. Though we're low on wood in general. That's something we should definitely take care of soon. <laughs> Probably just spend a day de chopping down wood and such not. Oh, did I just hear Tallbird? I think I just heard Tallbird. Yep, there's Tallbird. So, I was thinking with Tallbird since he beats the crap out of me every time. Maybe I'll try to uh, make some of those sleep darts. There we go. Which I need spines and crow feathers, so 
I guess the steps there would be make a bird trap. And then uh, we have a bunch of uh, the needles or the, yeah, stingers. There we go. So maybe we can like, what am I doing? Maybe uh, that would help making some uh, sleep darts. We might be able to steal his egg while he's asleep. I don't know. I've never used sleep darts. So I have no idea how effective they are, but it's worth a shot. Oh, merms. Let's get away from them. This would be a fun forest to just burn down. Charcoal for days. Speaking of burning, we need to get a uh, fire soon. I'm getting a lot of exploring in this time, and that's making me a little uncomfortable. Kind of going back to... Uh, the way I was playing when I first started, which is like, let's just wander randomly forever. Oh, okay, so let's build our campfire here, and that will give us a chance. Oh, he's got some pine cones in him, he can take those. Oh, he's got my axe, and that'll give us a chance to chop down a few trees. And we'll cook up our meat. Okay, let's store that. Get some cooking. We'll probably just go ahead and eat the berries for the health. Oh, we, we're actually kind of hungry. <clears throat> there we go. Cook that morsel. Cook that fish. There we go. I like the cooked fish logo thing. And there we go. Day has come. Excellent. Okay, we're gonna head out this way. We need more papyrus, and we're just gonna so we're gonna cut through here and see if we can get get some more papyrus while we go. Or we're not gonna cut through there, cause oh god, oh so much damage. Get away. That was far more damage than I was ready for. Oh, why don't I have a log suit? Come, Chester. Let's eat those morsels. I feel like I ate that super slow. I like his eating animation, though. So, I'm going to go ahead and admit I messed up on that one. Oh, that merm sees me. Let's get him away from him. I don't want to be fighting a merm right now. I don't want to be fighting anything right now. Okay. See if we can find some uh, close reeds here. Be careful. Yep, if that pops, we're going to die. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's not tempt fate. We got to give Tallbird a wide berth here. And then... I think it's this one. Yeah, that's the one we came out of. <laughs> so let's cut up and around Tallbird. There we go. Chester's a fantastic. I could see in a very long game that noise getting kind of annoying though. Okay, so yeah, let's head on down. We're going to jump back through, and we're going to try to make it back to base camp. We'll get some bee boxes set up, and start spend some time really establishing a base. So. I think we're, uh, we've satisfied the wanderlust a little bit. Maybe we can find some more gold. Or Ooh, what's this? Oh, just some weird area. Okay. One last flower for the road. Let's get the ha oh carrot. We can't go without taking the carrot. That'd just be irresponsible, really. Seeing the carrots, we need to eat some of these before they start going bad. So in we go. 
Okay. And now from here, we need to get back to our base. So it's just walking. Um. Oh, up and around. I was making sure that connects. Cool. Part of this is on. Oh, a good bit of this is on the road. I forgot about the whole road walk I took. We'll just eat any flowers we see along the way since. I mean, one health is one health. Start getting that back without wasting our good food. Seeds. Flower. We just gotta be careful not to accidentally hit a bee. That would go. That would not go over well. Oh my god, there's a lot of bee activity going on here. It's so bee loud. Bee loud. I, don't, I was trying to make a pun. It did not happen. There we go. We're actually going to hold on to those seeds now that I have a bit of manure. Because I want to start uh, a turbo plot. These berries, on the other hand. I'll grab the hell out of these berries. Ooh, carrots. Okay. Kind of deviating a little from our original plan, but carrots and berries. I, I can't not pick them up. Oh, thank God, the ocean. We can't be distracted by more carrots. Anything else I can ignore, but carrots and berries. I'm like, nope, I gotta get those. Which in certain ways is a good thing. I mean, it's good to have that steady supply of found food, but I get so distracted and get so much less done because I'm too busy picking carrots and berries. Okay. Get me some berries. These flowers are slowly pumping my health back up. It's always good. Oh, berry. Could totally missed that one. We're going to grab these two flowers. Oh my god. I really want that turkey. Come here, gobbler. Jerk. Hmm. Eating part is gone. Oh, cool. We can make it home tonight. There we go. There we go. We're good on grass. We'll go ahead and stock that up to 40 real quick. We're going to need a bunch more wood. Oh, Chester sounds so tired. There we are. More berries. I'm not even hungry because I've just been munching on flowers all day. It's a good life, really. Keep my my stomach topped off with uh, flowers. It actually sounds kind of terrible. Okay, so that is only stacked to 40. I wasn't sure. And we are home. Actually, let's just give him that. Make life easy on ourselves. Stale monster meat. I actually kind of want that to turn bad. Because it looked like because the rod it seemed could be used to fertilize things. And right now I don't have that much use for the monster meat. There we go. In the morning we're gonna chop down a bunch of trees. We'll replant them so we don't make uh make the tree god the guard angry. Tree god. And then we need to get um oh oh damn turkey. Okay, so while we're here, let's look at survival. And I want bird traps. I need my sticks. You can hold that. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and make ourselves a bird trap. Place that guy over there. And I don't know if I need to bait that with seeds. Actually, that's probably a good idea. I still don't know how to... Oops separate okay cool baited 
Excellent. So. Hello, tree. And I guess... Be a good idea to refine some of that. And we'll cook up. There we go. And awesome. We have a bunch of berries. That'll help tide us over. Okay, cool. So, how many boards are we up to? Two. I need... Good sir, my axe. Thank you. And let's get some chopping going. Oh, sweet! That was... That was quick. And we got ourselves a feather. So... Other seed, bait that. We need the other feather, though. I think we need crow feathers for the sleeping one. There we go. Continue the chopping. Oh, our axe broke. Man, those red birds are all about these things. Uh, I guess we'll go plant these. And didn't I pick up some more seeds? I thought I did. Yep, there they are. Just birds all day. Here we go. Okay. I don't remember how many boards I need. I think it's, it's either three or four for a, a B box. We're going to get the B box first, and then uh, after that, once we get them all settled in their home, I guess we'll build uh, the alchemy engine, and then we'll start working on our farm plots. And pretty soon we'll go find a forest, burn it down, get some charcoal, and get our crock pot going. So, boards. Let's see how many I need. It was under structures, B box. Where is it? Ooh, bird cage. It's rather expensive. Where's that? Where the heck's the bee box? Oh, I only needed two. Wow. I overshot that one. That's alright. Let's actually go ahead and build one more. Man, these birds. They just can't stop. They just can't stop. Murder the bird. We're going to have to find some more seeds here in a moment. Oh, let's scare this bird away. Nope. Too slow. I like that I'm scaring away birds so I can get seeds. So I can make more birds. Or get more birds. Okay, bee box. We're going to put this guy over here. And a second bee box. Scare away the bird! Scare away the bird! I wonder if crows only go in specific areas. Hmm. Okay, so B box. Oh, no luck. B boxes are done. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think. I think the better plots do need an alchemy engine. Let's double check that. Boom. Yep, alchemy engine. So next step is our alchemy engine. We need four more logs, or boards. One, two. So we're halfway there. And we might need to go get some more rocks. I don't know how many we have. Oh, our helm is going to be so buzzy. Ugh. Oh bird let's go get my bird we're getting a ton of these red birds none of the birds I want what were the red bird ones used for those were like fire darts oh actually that sounds pretty awesome too so 
I can't complain about that. Chop, chop, chop! I wonder how long this takes. I've never actually gotten bees to produce honey yet. <laughs> I hope they don't actually need flowers nearby. <coughs> okay. Build another one of these axes. Get my chop on. We gotta replant soon. I feel like I'm uh, on the. I'm dancing with uh, the tree guard now. There we go. And we can get that tree down before we start heading in for the night. Sounds like I got another bird. Like how intensely loud that sound is. It's kind of fantastic. It's all red birds. Wish I could get morsels from them. I'm also starting to think that the other birds might need a specific spot. Okay. We're going to make a shovel soon to take care of all that. I'm just kind of looking around at this point, seeing what we got real close. Man. Birds. Okay. So. Eat some up. We're gonna... Get that fire going. I got that going way too early. That was dumb. We need four logs. And then... No, no, I want to open. Chester, get out of there. There we go. Nope. Okay, yeah, I need more rocks. Okay. So we definitely need to go get some rocks in the morning. Chester, do you have any flint? Yes, cool. You have flint for me. I'm going to eat that up. Put that in there. Eat the rest of these roasted berries before they start going stale. Bees. Okay. Oh, Chester. Sleep well, my prince. There we go. No, I don't want to make charcoal here. Let's go ahead and actually... Now, in the morning, we'll replant all those over in another area. Um, I'm going to want to make a shovel. Chester, of course, has my uh, sticks on him. Because, I mean, honestly, what else would you use to hold a stick? There you go. Chester can hold those and those. 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 We're going to go ahead and drop the monster meat over here. And then we can dig up all these stumps. Excellent. Okay, guys, that's where we're going to call it for the day. Um, our next plan is to go get rocks so we can finish up the alchemy engine. And then we have a bit of manure. We're going to start some farm plots. We might run over to the pigs, feed them, and get a bunch of manure. Or it's the beefalo we found, which was... Here. So we might go over to the beefalo and take care of that. Um, yeah. We're also going to get some charcoal very soon. Get a crock pot. Start getting some good food going. And uh, once we have that crock pot, we can actually start trying some of these um, fire darts. Which would be cool. So I'm excited about that. But yeah, I will see you guys next time. Remember to like, comment, and sub, and have a great day. Diggy!